GOP candidate for Governor Pat McCrory is the overall money leader at this stretch with more than $3 million in cash. Jeb Bush is joining McCrory in Raleigh tonight to raise even more cash for the war chest. Shea Christen is live at the Angus Barn for that soiree. Shay? And Larry, those attending tonight's fundraiser here at the Angus Barn paying $500 to $8,000 each. Governor Jeb Bush promising to do whatever he can to get Pat McCrory elected. Thank you, Mayor. Go it on. is uh, a joy to be here to endorse your candidacy and to uh, provide whatever support I can. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush helping Pat McCrory raise thousands at the Angus Barn. We spotted Ambassador Jim Kane rolling in for the event. Bush's name is being floated as a possible VP pick for Mitt Romney's presidential campaign. Earlier this year, Bush encouraged Romney to release his income tax records. Would you encourage Pat McCrory to do the same to release all of his I don't know. Um, I don't know what the circumstances are here. I do think that uh, in Governor Romney's case, uh, the guy is incredibly successful, and it, at the time he seemed like he was a little uncomfortable with his success. And I've released all the financial information that's required by North Carolina law, and I'm very, very proud of that. But that's not good enough for the group Progress NC, who says it should not be good enough for voters. I mean, they want to be the leader of the entire state, so we should make sure that they're open and honest. Uh, with voters. Pat McCrory and Governor Bush not holding back when they talk about the millions they expect President Obama's campaign and certain unions to spend here. You're, uh, you can rest assured that uh, this is a battleground state for the presidential race and the president, 20 million sounds like a gross understatement uh, of what's to come. <laughs> the union money against me in 2008 was in the millions of dollars and we're going to be fighting that same union activity which is going to try to reverse North Carolina's right to work status and try to bring collective bargaining in North Carolina and that is something I will fight. There you have McCrory talking policy and money in the end. Now it's unclear exactly how much his campaign is raising with this event going on right now but Larry we do know they were expecting about 200 people. Wow. It's all heating up all of a sudden. Thank you for that, Jay Christen reporting. The FBI